Welcome to day seven here in the UK of Starlink ownership. For me, Ars Pixel, and my little friend Des, who's developed some eyes. Coming up today, we've got some information on firmware, speeds, We've got some things on network and reboots. This is just a recommendation that I've come across, I think probably will benefit you. And last one is obstructions. Uh, we touched on some stuff yesterday, vaguely regarding that. And I may have an update. So first and foremost is speed. Something happened overnight in terms of firmware. There was a substantial firmware update that changed how Starlink performs here in the UK. Now I've went from a speed of 150 max to over 400 megabytes a second. Now that's pretty mind blowing for me because I have never been able to achieve anything close to that on the lines that I've had running into this house. Even in 5G, I think I've struggled. I don't get 5G here, but in Cambridge where I can get 5G, it doesn't come close to that. So it makes me think of when you get a new car and you want to take it fast, you keep driving it fast. Well, my internet speed is now a bit like that where I'm checking the speed all the time. I feel like I'm addicted to speed tests. I can't even do the housework without doing speed tests. Now in terms of the speeds, I will say that this internet is now running as fast as the 6 a.m. lamb sprint. And yes, 6 a.m. lamb sprints is a thing here in the countryside. The lambs behind our field sprint every day at that time like mad. And my internet is now running just as fast as they are. But actually, all joking aside, it's really interesting to see it go so fast. It seems to run at 100, then it just flies up and it's it's really rewarding actually and really encouraging that you know day seven into starting ownership and already i've seen daily improvements from stability changes to everything else and i know and i know and i know that people keep saying it's a better i get that and i expect the service to get worse and of course whenever a company brings out something new and they make promises i feel like starlink or possibly under promising and over delivering and that is the best way to do business i love the tagline better than nothing because this is better than nothing so as you can see this is the latest firmware that was sent down overnight and it does it seems to update quite a lot and one of the questions that i've seen pop up in the forums was does it matter if you're not using this little bad boy. Well, Des currently sits and looks on at the router, my Asus. And I think he's sad because my Asus is pumping out some incredible speeds. And I'm in no doubt that if Des was plugged in, it would probably run the same. But yes, the firmware on the satellite will still update regardless as to what router you have in. And the best way to see this is by using a static route. And I only know how to do it on the ISIS, never claim to be a technical expert. And I will continue to say that I'm 100% not a technical expert. And I'm just learning, learning as I go along. I'm a normal guy trying to navigate my way through this complicated world of routers and things like that. And I know some of you may laugh at that, but it's not my strong point. And that brings me on to the next thing, which is networking and rebooting. Now, on my router, I have the ability to set up an automatic reboot every day. And I'm, I've set that up so it now reboots at one or two o'clock in the morning. And the reason for that is that whenever Starlink does an update to the dish firmware or changes something, the static route seems to stop. Now, this could be a router problem, but having a reboot in there corrects it and I can access the stats again without using the Starlink router. So I hope that helps. And if you have got an issue where you keep losing those, first thing to look at is, are you running dual WAN? Because if you are, that will probably stop you getting a static route. Uh, and the next thing is, has there been an update overnight? Well, reboot your system because you will probably get your statistics back. And then lastly for day seven, obstructions. Genuine question about the birds, right? That people are saying have Starlink considered birds because 
the only possible solution for my obstructions are birds and, and birds perching on the dish. Now, I may have found a solution for that. Now, don't get me wrong, I like birds. I, I've got little bird boxes and I like the little ones. Not too keen on pigeons. However, I did rescue one once and I hand fed it. And that was probably a massive mistake because now they think I'm a soft touch and they're all coming to my house to mate on my fence and sit on my starlight dish. And my little dog was out in the garden this morning and a sparrow hawk flew in and tried to get her. Now, what I need to do, that sounds horrible and she's fine. But what I need to do is get that sparrow hawk and train it to keep the pigeons away from my starling. So if anybody has any tips on how I can do that, I'd be grateful. Otherwise, I'm happy to report dogs alive, internet's running fast, and I am very impressed with Starlink on day seven. So whatever you're doing for the rest of the day, have a good one, and I will catch you later.